<laughs> hey everybody, it's Tiffany. Welcome to episode 12 of Journey to 2020, a Sims Decades Challenge. The objective of the Decades Challenge is to live as historically as possible from the year 1890 to the year 2020. Each decade has a bunch of rules to follow, and I'll fill you on on those as needed, but for a complete list, I've included a link below. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, we've got a lot to do, so let's get started. Alright guys, here we are back in Willow Creek and the year is 1898. So we're getting so close to moving on to the next decade. It's so very exciting. So let's go ahead and go back into the house. Alright, so we did just age up Ethel. So she's a little girl now going back to bed. And we just had this new bouncing bundle of joy, Gertrude. Joseph is being very nice and getting in the way of us doing anything for Gertrude. He didn't even change the diaper that she's screaming about. So, Joe, sit down. We'll take care of it, I promise. Come on, Flo. Take care of Gertrude. So, not only did we give birth to sweet baby Gertrude, but we're also hoping that Flo is just a little bit preggers with the next of the Parker clan. Yeah, as you talk to that baby. Why don't you go ahead and feed Gertie there just to make sure. What's wrong? That was weird. Wait, your baby doesn't like you. Strange. Okay, she's very tired, so we're just gonna go ahead and send her on back to sleep. I know she also has to go to the bathroom, but I have a feeling if I send her to the bathroom, she's gonna pass out on her way back. So let's extinguish all the candles, even though it's 5.30 in the morning. Does Joe have to work today? What do we got? Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Fun. Oh, and Josephine's awake. Okay, first we need to see, does Joe have to work? He does. Joe, you should get up. Oh gosh, and Josephine's waking. Ethel up, Ethel. Ethel's gonna have to go to school. Oh, so that's fun. Ethel will be out of the house. She's gonna go take a bath. That's great. Yeah, go see what's up with your little one here. Oh, she had a nightmare. Can we comfort her? Yeah, let's give her some comfort, Dad. She's scared. Make funny faces at her. Yeah, she's pretty awake. Let's go ahead and have her talk to her bear and hug her bear. Because Joe needs to get ready for work. And then you can play with the zebra. How about that? Joe, you, you gotta go eat. Oh, actually, Joe, you're gonna forego eating before work because you have to fix this stove. That is dangerous and Flo cannot cook you your meals if the stove does not work. So we need to get on that. Okay, let's light all the candles. Oh, we didn't even get to feed Ethel. But she's on her way to grade school her first day. That's so very exciting. Bye-bye. Have a good day. She's like, I guess I'm hungry, but hopefully I'll get food at school. Bye-bye. Great. What should we have her do at school? Let's see. Let's have her make some friends today. That'll be good. She needs to have friends to bring home from school. Awesome, ah. Joe fixed it. We might have some time to eat. Have some, have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Real quick, quick like a bunny before you uh, go to work. There we go, <laughs> little Josephine so happy. Oh, Joseph's off work. Let's see, what should we have Joe do while he's at work? Um, increases social need, but he's good on social. Analyze plan anatomy, increases work performance, improves logic skill but at the cost of fun. Let's go ahead and do that because he definitely needs logic skill. So we'll have him working on that at work. Oh, she's so sad. Oh, cause dad left. I know, but mom's here. She's just not really doing that great. She needs to sleep as much as possible. So you can entertain yourself until then. School flower fundraiser. In honor of Valentine's, Ethel's school always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, Ethel decided to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Buy flowers for everyone in class or buy flowers for self. I think she should buy flowers for everyone in class. That would be 
really nice thing to do and you know she make friends that way so let's do that ethel decided to surprise the entire class with flowers while setting a math each flower was hand delivered taking enough time to get them out of a test yes no test today there you go girl oh okay Flo is awake and she really needs to go to the bathroom. And she also needs a bath, but Josephine comes first. That's how it works. You gotta take care of the kids first. And then you can take care of yourself, huh? Oh, baby's crying. Okay, this one first. Change the dirty diaper and then cuddle the baby and then cuddle the baby. Lots to do. Oh, and then Josephine needs to potty. Can she do it by herself yet? Nope, nope, not yet. Oh boy, we gotta pay bills. <gasps> well, they shut the power at her house, but <laughs> there is no power at the house, so a big whoop. We'll take care of it. I thought we paid the bills. Did we not? Could have sworn we paid the bill. Okay, maybe we gotta pay bills again. Maybe I missed it. I don't know, I'm confused. It'll be fine. We will take care of everything oh, because Flo is totally go. mom of the year. So they all reach parenting level six. Florence can now make other parents feel better when parenthood gets tough. No, 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 no. Gotta give Josephine a bath first, honey. I know you really smell bad, but Josephine needs it. Actually, oh, okay. Just kidding. Let us potty train Josephine first because she really needs to go and we gotta get her going on her own. Would you like to uh, go potty? I'll uh, help you. Yeah, let's do that. I'm so dirty. Don't mind me smelling really bad. Sorry, dear. Here we go again. Everything's so smelly in here. Josephine smelly, Flo smelly, the laundry smelly. <sighs> it's a lot, a lot going on. I haven't seen Flo get all like yet, yeah. so hopefully she's pregnant. Oh, we need a boy. Gonna be popping out another baby soon. You got this. Oh, there we go. All right, give this baby a bath. She needs it real bad. Good job. Yeah, you did so good. Now it's time to clean up your tinky body. All right, so it is Valentine's Day. So we need to do some stuff to make Valentine's Day great for everyone. Oh, and Gertrude is crying again. We'll be there as soon as we can. Oh, and Ethel has met Roy while at school. She made herself a little friend. Fun. Right, as soon as you're done with that, come in here. I feed this baby. Okay. That's done, thankfully. She needs to eat so bad. I know, you're so hungry. But mom is like super busy with Gertrude here. Oh, she's trying to go eat cake. Oh, get the baby, she'll get taken away from you. Oh my gosh, where are you? No, 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 you need to go get your child. Yes, please, thank you, turn around. Come back upstairs, come on. Oh, Ethel met Camilla at school, that's great. Oh boy, here you go. She's like, oh, oh, oh gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> As soon as Flo is done with Gertrude, she needs to put Josephine here. Aww. Josephine's like, I'm so sad, I need to hug my bear. <sighs> Ethel is back home from school. No need to make room on the refrigerator door. Her work is merely satisfactory. Awesome. Oh, and she's mad. Annoying school day? Ugh, teachers can be so annoying sometimes. You met like all of these friends and stuff. What are you talking about? Annoying. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. She needs to have some fun. Should we have her read a book? Oh, I wonder if this will be fun at all. Let's draw some shapes. See if that helps our fun need. Okay, give food. Give her a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Flo hasn't even been able to bathe or eat today. It's already 3.30. Oh boy, she's angry. Look at her. <laughs> Um, do we have anything in the fridge? Oh, we have cake. Take a piece of cake. We gotta eat that cake. <laughs> yeah, I know, you smell really bad. We'll get there, we'll get there. It'll be great. Okay, that's helping her fun need. That's really exciting. Good, eat outside next to Ethel. It's nice. Can you talk to her while she's doing that? Doba Harfin. Try to calm her down. She's freaking out so mad. She's like, I can't. Today sucks. I hate all my teachers. Okay. Encourage her. She's doing great at drawing. Look at that. Oh, she's 
Hmm. Unpleasant conversation? Well, sorry. We're trying here. Encourage her real quick. You're doing a really good job. <laughs> it's like, good job. Oh, you're putting sparklies Hello, on it. It's like you're doing so good. I love Eleven. it. Great teacher for mentoring. Florence is a masterful instructor whose greatest reward is the improvement of her pupils. That's very sweet. Did you finish? Okay, put that in your inventory. That's cool. Make some spring crafts. Joseph's home. Okay, Joseph is not doing very well either. Why don't you go take a nap? <sighs> oh boy. Flo has got to go take a bath. I have a feeling we're running low on water. So go gather some water and then you can take a bath. Okay, Josephine is sleepy. Why don't you take a nap right here? Take a nap on the chair. Still got crafts going out here. Making spring crafts. <laughs> Should go hang up her picture by her bed. Hang this up right here. There we go. Actually, let's put it by your bed so everyone knows that's what she did. Cool. I'm finally getting your bath. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Look at that little girl. Oh. So cute. Oh, looks like Ethel's finally out of her funk. That's great. Oh, pretty. Go ahead and put that in your inventory. We'll hang that up too. You should go in and have some cake as well because you are hungry. And then, Missy, we have got homework to do. So that will be next. So after Flo's done with that, she should get down and cook some dinner. Let's add ice to the ice box. Make sure that cake doesn't go bad. Ugh, trash is like in the way. All right, cook off the grid. Ooh, we can make some more stuff. Cool. We don't just want bread though. Watermelon salad. That's not enough. Ooh, mushroom soup. That's new. And pumpkin stew. Let's do pumpkin stew. Big old party size of it. Ethel, when you're done eating your birthday cake, you can do your homework. Oh, well, the house is just getting ugh, more and more dirty. But you're doing a great job. I mean, with three kids, you know. Felicia Bradford would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Of course, Felicia, come over. I'm making mushroom soup. Ugh, okay, darling. You guys sneeze all over everything. Uh. Uh, all right, why don't you discuss your bored mood? No, don't get cake. Your wife just made a lovely meal for you. Oh, we gotta move all these dishes out of the way. Flo has not been able to get to him yet. Oh, you're awake too? You want soup too? Said that was beautiful, mom. Ask her about her day at school. Oh, we gotta get some people in the Valentine's Day spirit here. So share Valentine's spirit. Nope, oh, she's gonna play music for us. Awesome. Express fondness for your wife. You gotta get in the mood because she hasn't appeared to have morning sickness at all, so I don't know that we got preggers last night. So we're gonna need to do that. Lower a kiss. Oh, the baby's crying. Ugh. We are in the middle of trying to get into the Valentine's Day spirit, Gertrude. What are you doing, Josephine? Oh, gonna go talk to your sister? That's sweet. Talk about princesses with her, because you love that. And tell her about your favorite animal. Joe needs some fun. Why don't you open... Oh, there we go. Yeah, play some chess. Did we get your logic skill? We did. Okay. We still need your gardening skill. We gotta get on that. So many things. Okay. You need to help your child with homework, have a child earn an A in school, and have a child max any skill to move up in the successful lineage aspiration for Flo. Oh, we gotta graph some more plants. We definitely gotta get that gardening skill up. Tell your sister's story. Look at these two. She's like, okay, that's great. Oh, you're gonna set that down on the floor? Really? I was like, no, I'll clean it up. <laughs> All right. Flo, you gotta potty train Josephine again. Hopefully we can get her up there soon. <sighs> Everyone's really sleepy, so we should send everyone to bed. You go to sleep. Joe, let's have you read the gluttonspiel. Do that. What? What are you doing? I thought, no, ugh. Okay, I told you to potty train your daughter. That's what I said. Why are you trying to go to bed? Ugh. Everyone's just like running around the house. It's fine, everything's fine. 
We'll get it all under control. Josephine's making an even bigger mess. Hasn't even been able to clean up her mess from before. Can I, can I please potty train you and put you to bed, please? I have stuff to do. Oh, and the baby's crying again. <laughs> Uh, she was like, yeah, that's happening, but got to read. <sighs> and we didn't get anything accomplished for today. He really needs to go harvest a bunch of things. You know what? Do it. You can harvest all of this. Did Felicia leave? She's like, I can't take that baby crying anymore either. Oh, okay. Josephine reached potty level two. Joseph is becoming a true agriculturist and is now able to weed plants in larger area. He reached gardening skill level six, which is exactly what we needed. That's wonderful. Okay, you need to feed this baby and make a silly face and cuddle and coo at and hopefully that will be enough. Oh boy. Oh gosh. And Flo is about to pee herself and pass out. Oh, come on, Josephine. I need you to go to the bathroom like really, really bad. Come on. I can't wait for you anymore. I have to go. My baby's gonna be taken away if I don't go. Oh my gosh. See, okay, she's good on her own. <laughs> like, oh. It's taking forever a little bit. All right, and then you can come and read her to sleep once you're done going to the bathroom. What's wrong with her? Gertrude, why are you so sad? That was just a lot, guys. I, <laughs> it's just a lot of things all thrown in there at once. Everyone's freaking out and unhappy for sure. And we still have to make another baby. Yes, I know. Okay, so you totally need to also come down here and go to the bathroom. Great, do that. Where's Joseph? Are you coming? Yeah, he's very tired. All right. Oh, you're crying again? Oh my gosh. Oh, all right. So many things happening. I could have just put Josephine to bed on her own, but I don't want to do that. She needs a little dad time. Oh, Flo. Oh. Gosh, what is wrong with this baby? Maybe it just needs attention. Just fed her. She definitely probably needs attention. Valentine's Day was awful. We didn't get to do anything. Let's see, did anybody have even a decent time? Joseph did. It was pretty good. Got to do a lot of things he wanted to do. What did he get to do? I don't even know. I don't think that I helped him do anything, but holidays are just getting away from us now, guys. Ugh. Joseph, come take a nap until your wife takes care of your child because you guys need to make a baby. I don't think we made a baby and we need to make a baby. We need to make a boy. It's gotta happen. Oh, Flo. Come on, please. I think Flo was in her nightgown like all day long too. Oh no, she changed out of a little bit to uh, take a bath. That's good. What is wrong with you? Stop crying. It says you're fine. Jeez. Let's try for a baby with Joseph, Flo. We need to go to dawn. They're both very tired. Very, very tired. Well, you guys will just go to sleep right afterwards. Hey, you want to make a baby? We really need to. We do not have an heir as of yet. <laughs> She's like, yes, sure, I'm so tired, but yeah, whatever, let's do it. <laughs> oh, okay, let's extinguish all the candles. Oh, and Joe's gonna be so tired tomorrow at work. So what happens when you have three kids all back to back? If we had had a boy, we could probably wait a little bit to have the other three, but that didn't happen. So we gotta do it one right after the other. Get the babies made, get the babies made. Boy. Yay! Well, very nice. At least they seem to enjoy themselves from good woohooing. Great. Is everyone asleep? Joe, go to sleep. You're exhausted. Yay, everyone's asleep now. Uh, oh. And there she goes. Okay, change that diaper. Joe, you gotta get ready for work, so why don't you come in here and take a bath? Ethel is up as well and has to use the bathroom. And then she should come in here and have a peanut butter and jelly for breakfast. Awesome. Wait, Flo, where are you going? Uh, Flo's gonna eat the cake that was sitting on the counter all night. <laughs> to each her own. Ugh. All right, Joe's all cleaned up, ready to get going. No, don't clean anything. That's not your place to do. Even though it would be nice for you to help, you would have never done that back in the day. So why don't you go down and also have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Flo, you can totally go back up and go to bed because you did not get enough sleep. And Ethel did not get a chance to eat again because I did not wake her up in time. 
<sighs> okay, let's have her um, listen to teacher. She had to be extra attentive. We got to get you some good grades, little girl. Ain't that right? Okay, come out here and harvest these until you got to go to work. Oh. And Joe is off to work. And he completed everything. So maybe he'll be in store for a promotion today. Don't know. We'll see. That'd be good. Let's have him um, work hard. Oh, and of course, Gertrude is crying again. Okay. Yes, yes. Let's go ahead and feed. Oh, she's going down to, uh... oh, she was going to throw up. Then she had to feed the baby. She's like, uh, that can wait. That can wait. Oh, okay. Ethel. Missed a bubble. Another standardized test. Ethel is almost done when she realizes she skipped a bubble near the top. All her answers are one off. She starts to tell the teacher but realizes she'll have to take it again. It's really only for the state. It doesn't affect her grade. Hmm. Let's go ahead and turn it in. Hmm. Take it again. We'll just see how that goes. Ethel finishes the last few questions correctly and decides to hope for the best. The school likes to brag about its test scores, but how much can one test matter? Unfortunately, the teacher thinks it matters a lot. She assigns extra work for Ethel for the next month to ensure that Ethel catches up. Oh, sorry, Ethel. My bad. <laughs> Ethel got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of other students. She's with the nurse now. Um, do a thorough health check. Make sure she's okay. And her responsibility has increased. That is great. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Something's happening. Oh no. Well, that's a good sign though. Maybe we made a baby last night. Oh, oh, rough. Here we go again. Why don't you just use the bathroom while you're down here? <sighs> And then, my dear, let's come up and change your outfit. We have so much to do today, and I suggest we hit it all. We are gonna do it. We're gonna clean this house. We're gonna do some laundry. We're gonna take care of all the babies. I, I have faith in us. It's already 1030. You can do it. I believe in you. Ethel reached mental level skill two. Ethel can now play arithmetic game on, a, on an abacus. <laughs> uh, try to go with the times. We need to pay the bills. I keep forgetting the bills, the bills, the bills. Okay, all right, we will do it, I promise. Let's light all the candles because who cares if our electricity got shut off? We don't have electricity. Clean this up, thank you. Ethel's manners are in the range to earn the good manners trait. That's exactly what we need because all the girls have to have good manners or no family will want them in their family. Do this laundry, add that to the wash tub because it's the only one that's like really stinky. I'm so glad both of the girls are sleeping. <laughs> We do not have time to look at her, a little Miss Snooty Snoot. And Ethel reached social level three. Dang, girl, she's like getting all sorts of stuff done at school. You're doing so good, honey, I promise. I wouldn't steer you wrong. All the babies are preventing her from doing bunches of things, like cleaning and knitting. We haven't been able to knit since we had like the second baby. Ugh, Gertrude's up again. Let's hope she waits a while before she starts crying. Nope, that wasn't long. Okay, Gertrude, you're gonna have to wait. Mom's gotta finish the clothes. Gosh, these take forever. I mean, gotta make sure they get clean real good. So unload those and hang them on the clothesline. And then you can go up and take care of this baby. Gotta feed her, rock her, make a silly face at her, cuddle her, tell her to shut up. Just kidding. Oh god, trash fell over out here. We're gonna do it. I'm so glad that Josephine is still sleeping. That really helps. Alright, we're coming. We're coming, baby. It's gonna be okay. Promise. Oh, Gert. There we go. Okay, she did not want to be fed at all. She wants some attention? Jeez. She is all about the attention. I guess we can... Oh, she's happy now. I don't even know. This baby. Okay, let's go down and eat. I have, like, have to have quick meals. Okay, we gotta cook off the grid. Let's see. Just make, um, just make a single serving of watermelon salad. No, I let the food go bad, the pumpkin stew. <laughs> this is just too many things going on. Look how dirty it is. Look at this. Oh, oh, trash everywhere. Oh, brutal. Okay. Maybe we can come downstairs and we'll eat and then hopefully clean everything up before Josephine wakes up because then we got to feed her like immediately after that because she is hungry and she's going to be screaming as soon as she gets up. Got this flow. Oh gosh. And Ethel's going to be home soon. You know what? Maybe I should make a bigger thing. 
of the watermelon salad because Ethel's yeah let's make a bigger thing of the watermelon salad because Ethel is hungry and Josephine will be hungry and Ethel had a very boring day at school extra homework there's nothing fun about getting extra homework well <sighs> Mom should have been a better influence on you. Okay, why don't you come in here, Ethel, and play with your, play with your horsey. You love your horse. Okay, Josephine's very hungry. Yes, yes. Can Josephine come down here yet? I think she can because she's got a higher motor skill. Come on, come downstairs. Mom will be done with, with lunch soon. Yes, are you coming? Can you? No, you can't. Oh jeez. Maybe Flo will be done. And Ethel's all mad that everything is so gross looking. No, you can't come downstairs yet. Okay. Oh boy. Set that down and put Josephine here, please. I know you are starving, but that's not enough. Okay. You don't want to play with your horsey anymore? Okay, why don't you come outside since you're not liking how dirty everything is and draw some people. Oh, the baby's crying again. <laughs> Okay, grab a serving for Josephine. There you go. Yes, miss, you need to go up and uh, change this baby's diaper. And rock her and cuddle her again. She seems to be having fun. You gonna come out here? You gonna come on the rocking chair so you're next to sister? Yeah, I'm gonna eat outside since it's springtime and nice outside now. I really wanted to have everything clean by the time Joe got home. And um, she hasn't even been able to eat yet. And there's Joe. But we got promoted! That's exciting! Promoted to STEM researcher. Joseph has been promoted to STEM researcher. He will now make an additional $5 per hour for a grand total of $45 per week. He has also received the following bonus, $700 and the drifter. Don't know what that is, but we'll find out. All right, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and join me next time for episode 13 of Journey to 2020, A Sims Decades Challenge. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.